So in my column this week, we were talking about how much a bathroom costs, but I thought it might be a little interesting to use a whiteboard and go through a couple of bathrooms to give you an idea. So I've got two bathrooms that we've done recently in the Fairway and Prairie Village area. Uh, this first bathroom is about as straightforward as you can get. It's got a tub, a toilet, and a single vanity with a single faucet. It's a five foot by eight foot bathroom. You've seen them in a hundred houses. And I wanna go through the process that I gave you for how to budget a bathroom. Now, I do wanna give you an asterisk here. Of course, these numbers that I have make my estimator go crazy because every bathroom is different. Every situation is different. But I still like to get a good idea of how much a bathroom is gonna cost before I move forward. And I thought that might be helpful to you. So keep in mind, these numbers are back of the napkin numbers. Uh, you can't take them to the bank, but at least it gives you some idea of where you would stand. So let's focus on this first bathroom. Uh, what I wanna do first is figure out the number of holes I have. And what I mean by holes are the number of fixtures. And so here, it's pretty basic. This is about as small a bathroom as you can get. We've got a tub, a toilet, and a single vanity, uh, three holes. So let's start with that. Three holes. Now you also remember that I told you that a good allowance for a bathroom is $3,000 per hole. That doesn't mean that the toilet costs $3,000. What that means is a bathroom with a toilet and two other fixtures uh, should cost um, around $3,000 per hole. So that gives us three times 3,000 or $9,000. That is a really good uh, rule of thumb number for a bathroom of this size. You could go 7,500 probably if you wanted to be really, really conservative, um, but 9,000 is a good comfortable place to start a budget for this. But you remember there's a second element. The second element is product. Especially in a bathroom, you can spend as much as you want on anything you want. Uh, you can have tile for a dollar a square foot. You can have tile for thirty dollars a square foot. You can get a faucet for sixty dollars a square, uh, sixty dollars per fixture. You can get one for six hundred dollars per fixture. That's a huge spread, and so we have to factor that in when we're figuring out a budget for a bathroom. And this is the way we do that. We want to take half of this number and figure out what that is. So half of nine thousand. equals 4,500. That is our product number, and we need to keep that in mind. Now, I've tried to separate it into three categories for us. The first category is base. This is base grade. What I mean by that is, these are fixtures that are really durable. They're not cheap. Um, they're not gonna go out next year, but they don't have a lot of frills to them. They're very basic. If we're using a basic fixture package and product selections for tile and such, um, then everything on this is the same. $9,000 should do you just fine for a budget on that. So we're going to do here. As we go up though, we're going to double this product cost every time. Remember that product cost of $4,500 is about half of the cost of a bathroom. But every time we increase a level of product, we want to double that number. So if we go to a mid-grade fixture, um, that's going to give us a lot more choices. It's still not crazy by any means. You still have a lot more you could spend if you wanted to, but <clears throat> you have a lot more options than you would at base grade. And again, we want to take this base grade number and add another 4,500 to it. So for a base grade bathroom of this size, a really good place to start would be $13,500. Now let's say we want to go high end. Let's say we want to have a lot of jets uh, in, the, in the shower, for example, or a really high-end uh, toilet with a bidet on it, all kinds of crazy things you can get, all right? Heated floor, for example. Um, again, we want to add that product number one more time. So we want to add 4,500 to this 13.5, and that gets us an even 18,000. And this is pretty close to what you could probably spend. Uh, it might be a little different configuration, but let's say we had heavy glass, that frameless glass you see on showers, and uh, really high-end shower fixtures, a high-end uh, 
um, faucet on the vanity with granite top. Uh, everything, everything goes into this bathroom. Yeah, you could definitely spend $18,000.